is that along over there? What's wrong with this camera? Hello everybody and welcome to Freakani Effects where I'm gonna show you today how to create a very bad quality VHS film as shown uh, in the in this Lenderman video that I uploaded some weeks ago if you haven't seen it I kindly invite you to check it out it's pretty scary um, I personally think that is very well made done so uh, for making this um, you'll need some VHS stock footage um, if you don't have any uh, you can check my first tutorial because I provided some very nice stock footage and you will also need a VHS or VCR font like this one that I use um, in previous tutorials I, I've also used some and you know provided them in the description and um, this is actually a hard tutorial okay there's a lot of pricking positions and a lot of stuff that you have to keep in mind so you know you need um experience in After Effects for knowing everything that I'm gonna do alright so I have here my composition where um, Slender is is right there hi Slendy how are you right? Yeah, he's cute oh, now the first thing that we wanna do is um, creating a new adjustment layer as every time that we uh, create a VHS effect we wanna take the oops what I'm doing we wanna take the contrast effect I'm gonna drop it in top and we're gonna put um 20 yeah I'm gonna duplicate it and now mine is 20 and this way we create that you know color lost effect that is very typical on VHS tapes and I wanna take the text tool and we wanna right here maybe PM dot PM eight zero um I don't know in August no not August May I like May May the tenth um, nineteen ninety five um when I put it there and we have to to use this kind of font you know this kind of VHS font this one is called VCR OSD mono as I said before, I've already provided it in a tutorial. And things nice like that. And make sure that also you have some uh, external stroke thing. Yeah, I think 5 it's okay actually. Yeah, it's okay like that. Um, Now we want to pre compose the whole thing. Um, we want to call it um, effects. Um, now we want to make a color distortion. So when I duplicate that layer, when I set it to color, um, maybe you cannot see properly here, but um, I'm actually moving the colors. I don't know if you can see it. See over here. We can have control over the colors, but the image uh, stays in there. So um, we want to displace it a little bit. When I take the position. Let's place it, if, I don't know, maybe like that, it's okay. Um, we want to create a fast blur. I want to drop the fast blur uh, effect on top of the layer of color. I want to apply a very big um, value, you know, something like, I don't know, 80. I want to apply it only horizontal. Um, you cannot see the difference almost in here because um, there's almost everything is on black and white but um, if you have a you know colorful composition I'm pretty sure that you're gonna see difference um, make sure that you also mark here uh, repeat pixels and uh, okay now we can pre-compose this again when I call this color of set um, now we want to make three copies of this and um, we wanna take the change channels effect we wanna take the first one red set it to add second one blue 
set it to add. The third one, both red and blue. Set to add again. And the last one, only leave the green. Alright, so now when I play with the opacity, when I when I turn the the first red and the first blue only to five percent and the sick and the third one the red and blue channel to ninety five. So in this way we can have a control over the red and blue channel, but you know it, it isn't a very big difference. So when I offset that now a little bit, maybe um over here on this one, over there. Um, we want to now take again the fast blur effect. Um, we want to um, put it maybe 20. Um, again, only horizontal. This one, 20, horizontal. And you know, this again depends on you. On how you want uh, the displacement to be, I think. Yeah, something like this. Looks nice. No, not that much. Okay. I like it there. Um, you will see the difference, especially here, when there's a, um, a black and white edge. You will see that one side is like uh, bluish and the other one a little bit more red. This makes a uh, these are the detail, the little details that you know you might you might say, oh, this is ridiculous. Why am I doing this?" But you know, these little details uh, are the um, are those details that make everything look so much better. You know. So okay, now we can we can pre-compose this and uh, pre-compose. We can call it color VHS. And now what we want to do is. Um, resize this down so that it has a very bad quality so we can size it maybe at 240 we scale this down you will see that now it has a very bad quality maybe 22 22 that 5 all right you will see that you can almost not see anything now. And you want to uh, pre-compose this again. Call it precise, for example. And make sure that you mark here, um, transfer all attributes to new composition. So that the this um, size applies to the pre-composition. Because if not, it's going to leave us, you know, um, at uh, 1080 pixels as HD. So make sure that you have marked here. Press accept, and now we want to scale it up a little bit, but not much because you know all BHS tapes uh, weren't full HD. So maybe you like to put 480, and you want to scale that up. All right, now you will see that there's a nice distortion in our image. It has very bad quality it looks pretty cool like that <clears throat> all right so um now we want to uh, get a grid effect in Spanish is quadricula but you have to look for it as grid and this should appear to you and uh, well this looks like an optical illusion I mean I'm seeing like dots over here right now <laughs> And uh, you want to um, first press here and take take the um, the size from the from the width and the height of the relators. So you want to put the width a very high value, like four thousand, and the height something like maybe two, and the border only one, so that you have this line some um, you don't want this line over here so you can just take this no not the here take that off all right so uh, 
now we can put the fusion mode to stencil alpha and we already have our image but uh, it's very dark and um, we don't want our image like this so we have to duplicate that and uh, in old ca well, we're making this because in old cameras when you make some uh, moves with the camera um, horizontal lines appears so uh, we're gonna take the second composition we're gonna go to the very beginning and we're gonna move it only one frame forward and now we will see that there's this uh, this kind of movement. I'm gonna go to uh, where we were here. When there's movement now in our compositions, these lines will appear, but still it's uh, like really dark, huh? We don't want it like that. So uh, for fixing this, what we gotta do is um, duplicate it again, going to the bottom and just deleting the defect and it will already appear like this like with these lines every time that there's some move would appeal to you like this you see with these horizontal lines alright so uh, now we want to make a new adjustment layer and when I take this uh, focus mask effect drop it in top um, leave it that one like 50 but in this one when I put 10 that's it that makes a very big difference um, we want also to uh, add saturation because all tapes are very high saturated so uh, I think 50 is gonna be a lot maybe 30 alright well as I told you this composition almost doesn't have any you know colors but I'm sure that uh, in your video you're gonna see the difference um, now you would like to add your um, you know uh, VHS footage so you you can take I'm gonna take this one but tracking um, you can have this from my very first tutorial um, make sure that you mark here JPG sequence you drop it on top and you come here on uh, interpret principle and you set high value um, make sure so that you you know make transform and uh, here adjust the composition that's it I'm gonna set it to a uh, hard light here alright so that's it I think that it looks nice like that. It ha it has a you know bad tracking look. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. That you find this helpful. And um, again, if you have any kind of questions about um anything, any kind of effect, just let me know, and I will see what I can do. So I hope that you enjoyed and that you subscribe if you found this helpful. And I hope to see you in my next tutorial. So see ya.